With the help of their theoretical models, the experts are able to trace the development of the universe back to its starting point. Against this background, another, no less exciting question arises. Are the researchers, by implication, then also able to take a look into the future? The surprising answer to this question is, Yes, even if it will still take billions of years before the theory becomes reality, the fate of our Earth and the cosmos is already sealed on paper. Do you ask yourselves what frightening events will confront humankind? Then be sure to watch today's video all the way to the end. But before we get started, give us a thumbs up and a subscription to support us for free and stay up to date at the same time. Do you have an idea what fate will befall our home planet according to the scientists? Write us your guesses now in the comments and find out if you're right. The Way to the Beginning As already mentioned at the beginning, the researchers are able to trace circumstances that characterize the universe immediately after its birth up to this day. But how is this possible at all? How do we know how our cosmic home presented itself 13.8 billion years ago? And can we be at all sure about this? According to the standard model of cosmology, the history of the cosmos began with the Big Bang. This designation, which at first reminds us of a brute explosion into an existing space, means in reality the common emergence of space, time, and matter from an original singularity. In the astronomical context, the term singularity describes those places at which the gravity is so extreme that the curvature of space-time diverges, or colloquially expressed, is infinite. And how do the experts now know that the singularity was the starting point of the Big Bang? Well, quite simply, by looking at the development of the expanding cosmos backwards. As is known, the universe is not a rigid, unchangeable construct but one which has always been expanding. However, the cosmos does not expand into an existing space. It is rather the space itself which increases incessantly. With this knowledge in mind, it's therefore also possible to set up forecasts about the further course of the cosmic total development. And even if the corresponding theories differ from each other in some details, the conclusion which all of them have in common is, the end will certainly come. Crash of the Galaxies That event, which will affect our species most directly, if it still exists, will be the merger between our home galaxy and its neighbor galaxy Andromeda. If one follows the models of the NASA experts, then the two gravitationally bound accumulations of stars and planets will contact each other in approximately 4 billion years. Since this will be an extremely complex process, it's difficult from today's perspective to predict what will take place in detail. Will it possibly come to brute star collisions that transform space into a kind of interstellar war theater? Well, if it goes according to the opinion of most experts, this will most probably not be the case, for the distances that prevail between the individual celestial bodies are simply too enormous. What researchers do agree on, however, is that the merger between the Andromeda Galaxy and the Milky Way will result in the birth of a new elliptical galaxy, which some astrophysicists are already calling Milkomeda. Even if we do not notice anything of it in our everyday life, the two enormous structures, which embody by far the heaviest representatives of the local group, are already racing towards each other at a speed of 72 miles per second. After the first galactic approach, it will then take again approximately 3 billion years before the galaxy wedding is completed. The Fate of the Earth Wars, pandemics, and climate change It seems that the existence of our Earth and its inhabitants is more threatened than ever. But despite all efforts, the demise of our home planet can no longer be averted. How this will take shape in detail, the future must show. Provided that things take their natural course, the Earth will fall one day into the warmth-giving life donor, which made the blooming of terrestrial creatures possible at all the Sun. Consequently, the core of our mother star will shrink more and more in the course of the millennia and will become hotter at the same time. Outside the core, the Sun will in turn inflate. The solar material will become more permeable to radiation 
as a result of which the luminosity will have intensified by 40% in about 3.5 billion years. Around 500 million years. This is the predicted period in which terrestrial life can still take its usual course. After that, our planet will become the scene of an unstable greenhouse effect, one akin to what Venus has been through. Rising temperatures lead to increased formation of water vapor in the atmosphere, which only further intensifies the greenhouse effect. The warm precipitation then rapidly accelerates the inorganic carbon cycle, which in turn drastically reduces the CO2 content in the atmosphere, causing plants and animals to die off. A billion years later, the term blue planet will be only a vague relic of days long gone. The global average temperature will then be hundreds of degrees Fahrenheit and all surface water will evaporate. The Sun's Demise With an approximate age of 4.57 billion years, our Sun is currently in the main sequence stage of development. That glaringly bright celestial body, which is about 110 times larger than our Earth, will have transformed into a red giant in about 6 to 7 billion years and will annihilate the closest members of our planetary system, Mercury and Venus. Viewed from Earth, the host star will then occupy a significantly larger portion of the sky. But since this will melt our planet's crust into a gigantic, continuous sea of lava, the impressive view won't be worth much. Although the Earth is unlikely to be fully incorporated by the Sun, the existence of life on a planetary furnace thousands of degrees hot seems simply impossible. The other chapters in the Sun's span of existence envision the helium flash and burn phase, helium shell burning, and white dwarf and planetary nebula status. But again, the question arises, how do we know? Well, the answer to this question seems to be simple as well as obvious. There are enough comparative examples in the cosmos. Thus, the investigation of Sun-like stars showed that these explode practically one after the other a fate that not only our mother star will share. In the course of time, all stars of the cosmos will burn up. Cosmic Darkness Nothing is for eternity, not even the countless sparkling formations which shine to us in starry nights from the firmament. In about 10 trillion years, the oldest stars known to us will have burned out, which in itself will not be dramatic if the formation of new stars would not come to a complete standstill in 100 trillion years. In the reverse conclusion, this means, as soon as the stellar supply dries up and the stars in space go out, the cosmos becomes dark. The stellar relics that then still lie dormant in the vastness of space include neutron stars and white dwarfs, completed by other objects such as black holes, brown dwarfs, and planets. In the absence of natural sources, this would mean hypothetical civilizations would have to generate their energy independently. However, just warming an artificial habitat embedded in a minus degree cold environment would require extreme amounts of energy. The End of the Cosmos No matter if it's the Big Rip, the Big Crunch, or the Big Freeze, even if the models of the scientists differ in some aspects, they agree that the universe has an end. And with it is meant, of course, not the spatial, but the existential level. Let's look in addition once at an event, which will occur according to some theories in 10 to the power of 36 years. So the model of the Big Rip says that the unstoppable, always accelerating expansion process will end in a tearing apart of the universe. And this from the biggest to the smallest structures. First, it will hit full-blown galaxy clusters, followed by individual galaxies, star, and planetary systems, celestial bodies, atoms, and ultimately elementary particles. Matter as we know it will therefore no longer exist one day in the distant future. But does the finale of this development really seal the irrevocable end of the cosmos? Is it in any way conceivable that the universe will recover from these processes and therefore resurrect? Some experts answer this question with a decided yes, and this because the universe has succeeded exactly in this way, repeatedly. According to the cyclic models the cosmos goes through, the cosmos goes through a recurring rhythm of birth and decline. Every end is followed by a new Big Bang. At this point, it should be mentioned, however, that already the designation of the end of the one cosmos 
is far from undisputed. If one follows the theory of the chaotic inflation, then the majority of the universe continues to expand and has done so since forever, whereby this process comes to a standstill only in some bubble-shaped partial areas. As a result, a multitude of sub-universes is thus formed there, making it conceivable that what we call the universal big hole is in truth nothing more than a vanishingly small link in an infinite chain of universes. But that's a topic for another video. And now it's time for your opinion. What do you think about the events that experts say will happen in a few billion years? Write us your thoughts, feedback, and your suggestions to today's video down in the comments. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And with that, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.